Welcome to the show and our Super 15 review that gets no better for the Highlanders after their sixth consecutive loss for the season in a match that started so promisingly against the Blues but the suspension of Ma'anonu turned the tide better than King Canute ever managed from which they never recovered. Elsewhere the Kings made the Brumbies look ordinary but that wasn't difficult. Seven penalties conceded in kicking range cost the Crusaders dearly the most dominant display of the weekend was that of the Hurricanes over the Waratahs. And a pair of tries by ex-Wellingtonian Jason Woodward made it two wins out of two for the Rebels over the force. And an 83rd minute penalty meant the Cheetahs carried on their winning ways. We wanted to really start well today and you know, 10 points up and 10 minutes into it, things are looking pretty good. And uh, I suppose we let them back into it, Simbin doesn't help and stuff. But I think Jamie's already touched on it, it's a, it's a side that's, uh, that's trying. And I think when you get in a position like us, you're trying too hard and it, it doesn't work either. So sometimes you just need to have a deep breath and, and remember what you're doing, why you're playing footy for the start and enjoying it and then get out there and have some personal pride in what you're doing. And once you get yourself sorted out, 15 of us doing that, I think the Highlanders are going to start winning some games at the moment. We, uh, we're looking left and right instead of looking ourselves in the mirror, some of us. And until we sort that out, we're going to, we're going to keep bumbling away. He's one of the players that's trying really, really hard, um, but not getting the success that he's after. Um, so, in fairness to Aaron, he's um, a player who became an All Black very quickly. Um, he's tasted success at the highest level very quickly, and, uh, and now he's tasting, he's learning the other lessons. You know, I think that'll make him a better man and a better player in the long term. Short term, he's going to have a bit of pain. and. Um, through his own performances. Now, he, he'd be the first to admit all of that. Um, but sometimes, like Roy says, they have to understand and remember why you play the game. It's, it's the enjoyment. And um, when you're stringing a couple of um, bad performances or performances not up to your own standards, then you get frustrated and it becomes, we call it a washing machine, it just keeps on going around a bit. So, you might need a breather. Who knows? It was a shoulder charge, guys, you know? And I guess, my, uh, you know, pay for that, the team pay for that. Um, I don't think there's nothing malicious in it. I remember I was seeing them text each other all, all night last night about the game and so um, but you know isn't that competitive, isn't that what isn't that one of the things of rugby that uh, that you do like to see we'll do it but you want to see it legally. Um, mates after the game, before the game, but you know for eighty minutes, geez a battle. Look, Mossy came in in difficult terms, um, came in a week before the match. He's a player with experience, the physical presence that we needed and we lacked against the Reds. Um, and I thought he equipped himself until he ran out a bit of gas towards the end really well. Um, we'll have a few more games for him. I thought Wop well, did well for you. I mean, I thought the scrum was pretty good and the line was pretty good. He got around and made his tackles. He hasn't played any rugby at this level for the whole season. He played a game for uh, the Harbour Hawks last week, um, club footy, and you know so then he's been injured for three weeks with a with a back injury. So I thought he came in a difficult situation, and like he's a calming influence on a lot of the players because he's been a captain, and that was the big reason why he got uh, why he got selected. Um, but there was nothing more um, enjoyed for me to see you know when we had three scrums, and he's copped a bit of flack in terms of the scrummaging um, over the years, but it didn't look too bad. Would we have done anything different in terms of taking points? I don't think so. It was 13-12, we had him under the pump and we'd carry on there. Um, would we have liked a better reward out of that? Absolutely, guys. Um, isn't that that's the story of our, of our sad days of late? We can't, we can't. Did you try about a penalty trial? Uh, we did, yeah. We, uh, <coughs> unfortunately, the last scrum was when he was going to have to make a decision and and we didn't didn't do, didn't scrum as well as we had and gave it a lick, so, yeah. We went far away, could have made a captain's decision look pretty good, but um, we were at the other end uh, scratching ahead. So, uh, like I say, it's the game that we're, we're finding ways to, to lose as well at times, but um, we just got to get out there and make sure that when we make, make a decision, we back it 100%, and uh, if nothing else, we hold on to the ball because that's, that's the fun part of playing footy with the ball in hand, and that's what we all like doing. So, if you uh, keep coughing it up, yeah, keep sitting here. So, we're just going to make sure we. Mm. For me, get a, keep your heads up as high as you can. Get back to Dunedin and uh, rip into a Brumby side on, on Friday. And that's a, probably the good thing about footy is uh, you only have to wait seven or eight days to uh, right the wrong. So we can get out there and we can do that. And some of us are lucky enough that we've got to keep rolling out and, and sort things out. So 
it's still uh, bloody frustrating, but you know, I could be at home digging post holes for the old man and stuff as well, in a few few dollars instead of a few grand. So <coughs> keep up, and I think if the rest of the team can have a look at life like that and uh, take a few rocks out of the pack, we might uh, step out there and really rip into it one of these days. Yeah, I thought we started um, not as we would have liked. We'd put it like that, but you know, I think. Um, Boys hung in there, showed incredible courage at times, and then we did some great things, and we got five points. So, you know, for us, it was it was a really important evening for us from a confidence point of view. We needed to win. Um, we did some really great things, and we did some funny things. But for the whole environment, we needed to win. So we've come off three losses, and we got the win, and I'm really proud of the guys. And we put the whole roller coaster in one game. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Some of it I enjoyed, others I didn't. We've, we've worked really hard this week on line speed and uh, you know the players are working really hard to get our defensive systems in place and I thought they were outstanding at times tonight, keeping them out in the last few minutes and you know when George was off the boys really worked overtime. So when you've got one guy left you've just got to keep working hard and, and you know they worked hard. I thought Renz was strong for us again at the right times and, uh, and I thought Ali led the troops really well under pressure because um, when George goes off what do you do? You know we had Noakes here on the wing and, and Luke at, uh, at standoff, so the boys handled that pressure really well. And that's what we need to do at this level, so they, they were real positives for me. We'll go, we'll go and have a look at the game and we need to fix those things up. There's a couple of critical lineouts we missed and those scrums got put under the pump but we came back and, and sorted it out. So those things we never accept. Uh, you know, We want to keep growing the team and we need to nail a couple of those at critical times. So we just go back to the drawing board, understand the reasons why. Um, so, you know, you can't do that at this level. You need to be able to nail those. So we'll just keep working. And Ali, do you think your young teammates, you know, gave it a go, like played the type of rugby you want them to play? Yep. Um, they definitely challenge you sometimes. Um, I think uh, at times the ability to not be so glamorous and walk things in. Um, would be a better option, but that's what you're going to get. You know, they, they want to play, they they want to try things. Um, it comes with age, wanting to do it. You know, you can see things unfolding a bit further down the track, but in the day, you know, when we're under the pump and Fr Frankie's running the ball out from our goal line, um, it's not what I want to do at times because it's hard work, but at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to breed. We're trying to breed people that want to work and want to help each other because if we play my style of rugby or someone else's style of rugby, it's not going to win. But if we play our style of rugby in terms of we all support each other, then we're going to get results. The Hurricanes make their first appearance in the top six this season at the expense of the Crusaders, who dropped to eighth. The buy points ensuring the Sharks stay in the top three ahead of those marauding cheaters. The Blues have the same flag points as the Cheetahs, but fewer wins, hence they lie in 7th. The Stormers in 11th, now only an outside chance of qualifying. And those below may grab a win or two to spoil the prospects of others, but finals action is now a 2014 dream. The Chiefs enjoy some breathing space at the top of the New Zealand Conference, with the Crusaders taking a sharp fall into fourth. But a visit to Perth on the way home should help address that predicament. The Highlanders, the only side out of the reckoning. In Oz, the Brumbies' grip is slackening by the week along with their performances, but only the Reds look equipped to pounce. The luck the Tars have been riding in recent weeks ran out against the Hurricanes, and time may do the same. In the Republic, the Cheetahs now true contenders for the top spot. Surely the ability of the Sharks to keep winning games on penalties alone will not get them through the entire season. The loss by the Stormers was costly indeed for their conference-winning prospects, which by now are decidedly slim. Join South Today Sport on Wednesday for the thoughts of Colin Slade and Rennie Ranger on that game and their respective seasons so far.